Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to Stinchfield. You know, we broadcast this program from Dallas, Texas. Texas has been dealing with the border crisis for a very long time. And for a very long time, I have been calling on Governor Abbott, the governor of Texas, to declare an invasion in the United States to give him wide-ranging ability to protect our southern border. Well, I'm happy to announce that he has finally declared an invasion. Uh, it is tremendously important that uh, that he has, and it took long enough. Now, I could criticize him for that. I won't. Better late than never when it comes to this declaration. Let me read it to you. Uh, it basically says the executive branch of the United States has a constitutional duty to enforce federal laws protecting states, including immigration laws, on the books right now. President Biden has instructed his agencies to ignore federal statutes that mandate the detention of illegal immigrants. For those reasons, I have already declared an invasion under Article 1, Section 10, Clause 3, to invoke Texas's constitutional authority to defend and protect itself. This is Governor Greg Abbott today talking about this all-important declaration. The supremacy clause means that the Constitution itself is the supreme law of the land. The Constitution itself provides Texas with a right of self-defense in this case because the United States has abandoned its responsibility to defend the Texas. Now, I think maybe we will get it to the Fifth Circuit on its merits, right. where I believe we can. And I do believe that when it gets to the Supreme Court, we can win. We already, I, I don't know how and why the justices voted the way they did, but there seemed to be four justices who indicated at least an appetite to hear the case as is. All right, let me make something very clear about this Supreme Court ruling. It was basically two lines saying the Supreme Court vacates the order, meaning it sends it back down to the Fifth Circuit. So this still has to be litigated. It didn't say the razor wire was unconstitutional. It basically just said, play this out through the courts as you're supposed to. There was no opinion from justices whatsoever, no matter what the mainstream media wants to tell you. So my assumption is after this invasion has been invoked by Governor Abbott, That'll give more strength to any argument that goes before the Supreme Court. My real fear, though, is, is that this is just a dog and pony show. We were one of the first programs to expose the dog and pony show in this Shelby Park in Eagle Pass. Shelby Park has two and a half miles of border along the Rio Grande. Two and a half miles. Do you know how big our southern border, border is? 2,000 miles. And I'm not even sure all two and a half miles are protected by razor wire down there. Putting on a show to raise awareness. Now, has it deterred some illegals from coming across? Yes, it has. Sadly, though, the illegals that come across are then quickly apprehended by Texas authorities and then turned over to Border Patrol. I would urge Governor Abbott to take a different approach here expel these illegals that are coming across the river. Do not take them into custody. Demand that they go back across the river. That's how it needs to be handled. And, and, and if they are taken into custody, then I believe we've got to get this law through in Texas quicker than not to get them charged under Texas law. And Texas has to have an ability to get them back to Mexico. That's for the lawmakers to figure out, not me. So the White House clearly does not like Governor Abbott pushing back because he says he's not removing this wire. Um, this is Corrine Jean-Pierre. That there is a governor in Texas, Governor Abbott, who has politicized this issue of what's happening on the border. And it's not making people's lives safer. It's actually making it harder for law enforcement at the, at the border to do their job. And so we have been very clear. We want to make sure we get something done at the border. Governor Abbott is not interested in that. He wants to politicize an issue and he's not helping communities. He actually isn't. And he's actually putting Border Patrol agents in harm's way by doing what he's doing. First off, Border Patrol agents aren't anywhere near being in harm's way. That's just a flat out lie. Especially not where the Texas National Guard is. If anybody's in harm's way, it's Texas National Guard. They're the ones in, in harm's way. And, and so she says the Biden administration is working on something. Wouldn't you like to have a partnership between Texas and the feds in order to quell this invasion that is going on? It's a bigger invasion than the invasion of Normandy. By far, six million people already under Joe Biden that we know of. Abbott responded to Corrine Jean-Pierre. The only thing that uh, the spokesperson for Biden can do 
is to cast aspersions and lies, hoping that people will believe them. Because the truth of the matter is, what Texas is doing is what Americans expect to be done. Americans expect the border to be secured because Joe Biden has abandoned that responsibility. Texas is stepping up and doing it with all that razor wire that you're showing right now. Nothing makes sense. You would think as a nation you would want a secure border, whether you're a Democrat or a Republican. A wall doesn't have any effect on legal immigration. You could build the highest wall in the land, and if you come here legally, that wall has no effect on you whatsoever. But it does have an effect on illegal immigration. So I'm left with the very, very sad reality that Joe Biden and his cronies are enabling and even incentivizing this invasion. And because they're enabling and incentivizing an invasion, that actually makes it treasonous. They are destroying our nation. And it is on purpose. I don't say that lightly, by the way, to accuse a president of treason. But I don't know how else you explain it when the enemy is coming across. And when I say the enemy, drug dealers, sex traffickers, fentanyl pushers that are killing American citizens, th this is an invasion and it is a deadly invasion. And innocent civilians are getting killed. Thankfully, 10 other Republican governors have signed on to support Governor Abbott. Jeff Landry of Louisiana is one of them. We support legal, not illegal immigration. We support secure and safe borders, not open border policies that allow criminals, human trafficking and drugs to pour into this country. We stand with Governor Abbott and Texas in reminding the federal government that under our constitution, states are still sovereign and we have the right to protect our citizens. Amen to that. And it is in the Constitution, and it is protected right.